Yo, 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 what's going on guys, Fatal Quad here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guide. The new series where I break down a weapon, giving you guys all the important information you need to know, and my own personal opinion to help you become a better Call of Duty Ghost player. Now, in this episode, we're taking a look at the SC-2010. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, what do I think of this bad boy? Well, it's a very, very solid assault rifle. It's not the best in the class, it's not the worst in the class, but it's very solid. It's got slightly lower damage and extremely little recoil. So, uh, it kind of reminds me of the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So, if you guys like that back then, you're going to love this weapon as well. Now, for the iron sights. I don't think they're the best, they're not the worst, but again, they're not the best. Typically, I'll throw on a red dot sight or some sort of optic on it. You know, the bridge, you know, goes over the middle of them, which I really don't like on any rifle, as well as they're pretty combined. So if you don't mind them, you can use them, but for the most part, I'll uh, typically throw some sort of optic on it. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, next up for the damage. It, as I mentioned, it's pretty low. You do 35 up close and 20 at a distance, which is lower for the assault rifles. Uh, the average for the assault rifles is 43 and 22, so uh, this doesn't really fit the bill in that regard. Uh, for shots to kill... It's 3 to 5, depending on how far you are from the enemy, but uh, the range is pretty good on this weapon. Again, it's not the best, it's not the worst, so uh, typically you're going to be in that like 4 shot kill range, sometimes 3, mostly 4, and then again, uh, sometimes 5. Now, as for the rate of fire, it's 750 RPM, which is slightly above average for assault rifles. Because it has a little bit lower damage, it's going to be a slightly higher rate of fire, so uh, that kind of makes up for that. And then, and then now, guys, the recoil. The recoil. This is where this thing really shines. The recoil is the lowest for all of the assault rifles by far. In most gunfights, you can just hold down that trigger, and it's not going anywhere. It's a laser rifle. Like I said, it's just like the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 and uh, Modern Warfare 3. Only in super long... You know, range gun fights, you need to worry about burst firing or, you know, pop shotting or anything like that. But for the most part, you can just uh, hold this thing down and it's uh, going to be a laser. It's not going to move very much. That's obviously a big, big advantage and uh, in its favor. Uh, so, now, as for the magazine size, it's standard for all assault rifles. You got uh, 30 rounds in your regular mag, 45 rounds in your extended mag. Uh, I never really find myself using extended mags. There's uh, no reason to because uh, it's uh, it kills three to four shots. I mean... 30 is more than enough, plus the reload uh, speed is slightly above average at 3.3 seconds empty and 2.8 seconds uh, if you have at least one round in your mags. So, uh, you know, there's no need for extended mags. Um, as for the recommended class, what do I recommend? Like I said, I typically like an optic, so the red dot sight pretty much is uh, the, the good scope to use on this weapon. Your muzzle break is very good to extend that 3-4 to four shot kill range. Perks I use are a Ready Up, a Quick Draw, and Stalker, which are standards for pretty much all my assault rifle classes. Um, and then for as other things you could use are uh, the foregrip attachment and the silencer, which I'm actually using in this uh, gameplay. Um, both are really good on this weapon, depending on if you want to be stealthy or um, if you want to even have more of a laser weapon than it uh, than it already is. So uh, that's basically all the stats, guys, for the SC-2010. Not a bad assault rifle at all. Um, I would definitely put this gun at, uh, you know, my last video, I put uh, the AK, or no, not the AK. I put the uh, the SA-805 at number four, and then my previous video before that, I put the AK-12 at number two. So where do I put the SC-2010 out of the eight assault rifles? I'm going to put it at number five. Like I said, slightly above average weapon. Uh, it's not too good, not too bad, not the best, not the worst. Um, so, uh, you know, it's definitely not a bad gun to use at all. Um, I would uh, definitely consider trying it out, you know, if you want, you know, good accuracy on the weapon. It has great recoil. Like I said, that's where this gun really shines the most. You're going to get a really great feel of this weapon. It's not going to move anywhere uh, when you shoot it. Like I said, you can just hold down the trigger. Uh, for most of your battles, it's not going to move at all. Um, so, um, yeah, that's that. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it for today, guys. Uh, I'll be back, uh, if not tonight, then tomorrow with another Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guide episode. I will probably be reviewing the MSBS, and we'll check out the stats on that tomorrow. So, uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching again. All right, see you guys. Peace.